Basically this weekend, we're having a three-day workshop. We've got community representatives from Sengwe tribe and Ogiek tribe, who are both from Western Kenya. Uh, so they're going to come and help us plan this year's fellowship. Rather than relying on foreigners, um, international trainers from the UK or wherever to, to do all the trainings, it actually should be the indigenous people who train one another and who pass on the skills. Our work is at the intersection of community-led media with self-determination as well as community-led solutions. But we also work in other contexts, in activism and peace building, and that has given us a bit of a chance to look at how different sectors push boundaries. The main thing for us is to bring people's views and voice into decision-making. For us, is working on localization and working through communities and local actors, as well as supporting monitoring, evaluation and learning, both in big agencies as well as um, uh, local actors. But I have to say, my words would be impressive. I'm really impressed with um, the content, how it's all organised, the training, just your delivery of the training and the time management of it and how you how you get all of that in and get all of that across in that time with, <laughs> with, that, with that delivery is just so, so impressive. Um, and also to shed light on the fact that colonisation is not something of our past but is something that continues and persists today. This like the sun from the sky, the history of my ancestors has been stolen. A mask that dropped in the museum made my heart broken. More than a hundred years never spoke a word, but the eyes were speaking, saying they took every precious thing from us, but our freedom can't be taken. It's not only about the space. I hate being in this cage. Tell my people that I don't want to be here. I'm dying in this place. Tell the world that they're missing the main point. Tell them my people are still suffering. And this is the case.